Hi, welcome to Narish IT. This is Kishore, and today once again we are going to discuss about uh, inheritance. That is, already we have discussed a uh, single level inheritance, multi pool inheritance. Now I am going to give multi level inheritance. What is called multi level inheritance? Okay. In single level inheritance, what happens? One base class and one derived class. Now it is the base and it is the derived class. In multiple inheritance, what happens? Several base classes and one derived class. That means more than one base class and one derived class. Okay. Here, multi level inheritance, what happens? One base class, from that uh, we are going to derive another class. From th that derived class, we are deriving one more. Now, it is called multi level inheritance. That is why it is the process of deriving a new class from another derived class. Okay? It is the process of deriving a class from another derived class. And in this concept, actually it is the base, it is the derived and here it is also derived. But for this class, it is the base class. That is why it is called intermediate base class. It is called intermediate base class. And here, once again, we have to use the protected members. Why? Because, okay, here the base class properties are passed to okay, derived. Now, I want to use derived class properties in this derived class. Okay. When the data members are private, what happens? They are not available outside. Okay. That is why here we should have to declare the derived class members okay, by using protected. Then only they are available in that class and derived class. Yesterday, we have discussed one concept that is student class. Next, another one is marks class. From these two classes, we are finding the result. Now, in finding the result, we are using marks class subjects. That is why here marks, marks class subject should be protected members. That is why here you should have to declare marks class members by using protected members. Why? Because here these marks are used in result class. Okay? That is why here multi level inheritance means what? We are deriving the new class from another derived class. Like this, we can derive any number of classes or any number of levels also. Now, I am going for practical say this. For example, I am going to give one example on student class. Say this, here common header files, IO stream, next uh, hash include conio.h and as usual class student. Now, it is the what? Base class. Next, uh, here ID number is there and here name also there. Now, from this we need a void get student. Okay? In get student what we are doing? We are reading the data for ID number and name. That is why see out enter student ID and name and see in ID. Now, here we are going to read the ID and name. Later we have to print this ID number name. For that uh, void put student here see out id equal to id endl endl is for next line and see out name here we are going to print the name also and now class closed now the base class is completed now from this base class we have to derive the marks class now class marks now it is the derived class name and it is deriving in public mode public which class student class okay here student is the base class now marks will become the derived class now what happens when a class is derived the base class members will become the members of derived class that means now id and name okay along with this we are going to extend the marks class that is by declaring protected int m1 m2 m3 i am going to take only three subject marks now in public zone i want to read the student marks that's why void get marks here see out enter marks in three subjects i want to read the three subject marks now scene m1 m2 
m 3. Okay. Now, it is going to read the 3 subject marks. Later, I want to show the 3 subject marks. Now, puts marks. Here, I am printing the first uh, subject 1 m 1 and l. It is going to print m 1 subject marks and m 2 m 2 marks and here m 3 and l. Now, class also closed. Now, it is the derived class and this one is derived from public student means in public mode student class. Now, I want to derive one more class from marks class then class this time result class which is derived from marks that is why public once again marks. Okay. Now, watch here it is the base class from this base class we are deriving marks class and from that marks class once again we are deriving the result. Now, it is called what derived then what about the marks marks is the base okay. here actually marks is the derived class here it is the derived because of it is derived from student class that is why student is the base. Now, in this situation result derived from marks that is why marks will become base and result is the derived that is why here marks is the intermediate base. Next now I want to access the m 1 m 2 m 3 here because of I want to find out the total first that is why n t total and I want to find out the average also. Now, in public zone void show it is to show the result total equal to I want to use the m 1 m 2 m 3 already m 1 m 2 m 3 are what protected members when they are protected we can use in next derived class also. Okay? That is why here I have used a protected data member. Next average total by 3.0. Now, it is finding the total it is giving the average we have to display this that is why see out first total. Okay, now, the total is printed later and l and later we have to find out average now a b g now class also closed. Now, watch this it is the what base class and it is the first derived from that first derived class we are creating second derivation. Now, it is called multi levels because of we are going for several levels here that is why it is called multi level inheritance. Next I want to show the data main function in main function actually last derived class is which one result due to this it is able to access marks data as well as student data. That is why we have to declare the object of result class. Now, result R, result R is the what object derived class object. Now, how many functions are there get student, put student, get marks, put marks, show total 5 functions we have to call that is why R dot get student. Now, it is the first function call when get student is called what happened it is reading the student id name next R dot get marks. Now, when get marks is called what happens get marks is reading the student 3 subject marks next uh, r dot put student. Now, the student id and name is going to print here next uh, r dot put marks it is going to print the student 3 subjects marks later at last we are having the result now. then r dot uh, show. Now, it is going to print the total average and at last program finish. Okay. Here all the object members are called like this. Okay. It is conducted within the main function. Okay. Now, this concept is called multi level inheritance. Here what happened? First class is student and from that we have direct declared or derived marks and from marks result that is all. Now, it is called multi level inheritance concept. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for watching.